Did you know that science shows that the most reliable way to bring more positivity and happiness into your life is to do something kind for someone else? Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave with Yada Yada, and today I'll share four science-backed happy hacks to improve positivity and joy in our lives, which helps us to be a better person, a parent, and a partner. One of the biggest crushers of happiness and positivity, and that is comparing ourselves to other people. I believe it was Theodore Roosevelt who said that comparison is the thief of joy. If you want to bring yourself down fast, just start comparing yourself to others and think about all the things you don't have that you wish you had, or start taking things for granted or feeling entitled. Instead, this first happy hack does just the opposite. It is genuine gratitude. One scholar said this, gratitude is more than a feeling. Gratitude implies humility, a recognition that we could not be who we are or where we are in life without the contribution of others. Being grateful is an acknowledgement there are good and enjoyable things in the world. Now, Robert Emmons goes on to say, gratitude is literally one of the few things that measurably change people's lives. I love that, and it's true. And not only does gratitude feel good, but it's also motivating. When we feel grateful, we wanna share the goodness we've received with others. So try to make a habit of slowing down and feel more gratitude for what you already have in life. The second part is then doing something about it. Express your gratitude in a journal or show appreciation for others and be specific. Even as a parent, you might think about your children and how grateful you are for them. Then let them know by saying things like, I am so grateful to have you in my life, and I just love being your dad. I'll put a gratitude plug in for what I use. It's an app called The 5-Minute Journal, and I love it. You start your day in the morning with a reminder to jot down three things you're grateful for. Check it out. It's a great one. The second happy hack is kindness. And like I said earlier, most scholars agree that this one creates positive feelings as well as any exercise they've ever tested. And it doesn't have to be big, costly things. We're talking about holding the door open for somebody, saying hi and smiling to a stranger, cooking a special breakfast for your kids, leaving a sticky note in their backpack or their pillow, or even sending your teenager a text of gratitude, love, or a compliment. There are countless ways to be kind. Plus, Kindness is contagious as well. Even watching a video of others being kind or witnessing kindness at the grocery store stirs a feeling of wanting to do good and to be good. And when we're the recipients of acts of kindness, most of us want to pay it forward and be kind to others. So make time to be kind. In fact, I have a little challenge for you. It's called text two before 10. It's simple and takes less than two minutes. Try texting two people a text of gratitude, it could be love or kindness, before 10 a.m. every day for a week. Go ahead, see what happens. Okay, another happy hack is discovering and using your strengths. Most of us are well aware of our weaknesses and the things we need to work on. But I think it's important to manage our weaknesses. Don't ignore them, but manage them. But then focus on our strengths. We're all born with gifts and talents and strengths. One of the best things we can do is make time to discover our unique strengths. In fact, you can take a free survey at viacharacter.org and it will crank out your top five signature strengths. Jot them down and use them to bring more joy in your life. The last happy hack relates to just that, using your strengths. The idea is called flow. Have you ever immersed yourself in an activity where you lost track of time and it just seemed to fly by? This is flow. It's when we become so involved in an activity often that uses our strengths, and it may even stretch us a bit, that our mind doesn't think about anything else that's going on. Things like reading a book, creating something, cooking, gardening, working on a project, and so on. The research shows that people are at their most creative and productive and happiest when they're in this state of flow. So what is it that you love to do that takes all of your attention and uses your strengths? Discover it and make more time for flow in your life. And a bonus tip, when you're doing something that makes you happy, be mindful of it. Enjoy it. Just soak it in and absorb it and stay with the good for a little longer. Scientists call this savoring. The cool part about this is it cements the experience in your brain longer instead of just letting it slip away. So stepping back for a second, remember that improving positivity in your life through these happy hacks creates an 
upward spiral that opens our minds and broadens our perspective and helps us manage the stresses and challenges in our lives in healthier ways. Plus, when our attitude and mood improves, it leads to better relationships at home and at work.